For the seventh year in a row, a run is being held in honor of a Bakersfield native who went blind as a child. 23 ABC's Natalie Taran Jolie has been at Riverwalk Park all morning where the Anthony Seeing is Believing runs taking place. Good morning, Natalie. That's right. Good morning, Faven. A lot of runners have now come through, including Anthony. He finished the race in just about the time he thought, right, Anthony? How, how long did it take you to run this 5K? Uh, around 43 minutes. Now, 44. Year after year, do you see any sort of improvement, or is it just all for fun? Uh, I think last year I had 46, so I beat it by two minutes. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. And are you looking forward to the next one in Pismo Beach? Yeah, that that one's uh, that one's still growing because like we don't have like the breakfast at Pismo Beach because like there's like permits, but but we plan, but that's just kind of coming slowly along. Well, thank you, Anthony. You're a very incredible yeah, boy. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. So this was the seventh annual Anthony Seeing is Believing here at the park at Riverwalk. Anthony, this incredible boy with a genetic, a rare eye disease that left him blind, but he's not letting that stop him. He's running this 5K. We also have 23 ABC's Jessica Harrington. She just let me know she's passing mile five, so we should be seeing her any moment here. This is the seventh year that it's been going on here. And the family has since moved away from Bakersfield. They moved to the coast a few years ago, but they say Bakersfield is still home, so this, this event continues year after year. I'm live in Southwest Bakersfield, Natalie Terranjoli, 23 ABC.